Hey, how's it going friends? In today's tutorial, I walked up to a local business, a restaurant uh, very close to my house because I walked there and took five shots uh, to make a panorama and then I got a little bit closer and took five more shots. I'm a little bit happier with the distant shot as you'll see uh, because in the closer shot I kind of cut off some of the bushes and the whole point of this was to get uh, the landscaping along with the structure so uh, that's what I did in the distant shot I got more in and these are the two sets of five that you'll see me putting together in Lightroom uh, the first set is the one I'm completely happy with the second set I got a little too close I didn't realize that because the sun was kind of in my eyes so uh, that's my excuse so thanks for tuning into another tutorial let's get started So here's my images. I took two sets of five photos each, vertical photos. And I'm gonna select the first five. Right click, go to Photo Merge, Panorama. And uh, I normally don't mess with the boundary warp too often, uh, but here's what it looks like all the way up. You can see it kind of bent the building and that's really hard to get back uh, to get the line straight again. So I'm just gonna leave it at zero and then come up here to spherical, see how it looks. And it's sort of bendy, so I'm gonna try cylindrical. And it's still sort of bendy, even though this is a curved road, I can still see some bends in the building and whatnot. So I'm just gonna stick with perspective. And if you want, you can click on fill edges And you can see it kind of it made the picture higher, but it filled some things in. It doesn't really look that great. This is all not uh, very good looking. So I'm just going to undo that, go back to, you can see what it looks like here. And uh, just go back to auto crop and hit merge. And that usually takes a few seconds. Depending on how many photos you have, it can take up to a minute. And you, here you have it. I'm just gonna reset the auto settings. I forgot to turn that off. Sometimes that helps, but I like the photo the way it was pretty much. Added a little too much vibrance. And there you go. The only thing I would do here, well, two things I would do here are center the building and do a little radial filter here. Pull some, some of the shadows out just a little bit. And there you go. And then I'm going to do this one, which is the same thing, but closer, closer to the building. Uh, like I said, this is more or less just the, I, I wanted to take this photo to get all the landscaping and flowers and everything. Uh, just look really nice. Uh, usually looks really nice. And I'm going to go ahead and Photo merge, panorama, and see uh, for this one, for some reason, perspective mode doesn't work. So I'm going to start back up here at spherical, and there we go. I'm going to try cylindrical. I like that a little bit better. The lines are still straight, even though I need to tilt the building a little bit. That'll do. And here we go. Once again, I, I left the auto settings on. Keep forgetting to turn those off. Remember to turn those off if you don't want Lightroom to guess how you want the photo to look. So again here, I'm gonna straighten it, crop it, and actually, uh, since this walkway does go out to the road, I'm gonna, gonna just leave it like that. But ordinarily, if, there was, if this wasn't here, I would just fill in the road with grass or something. And I don't really like how I cut off the bushes here, uh, but you get the idea. And I'll probably do the same thing here. Just pull some of the shadows out of the building. Just a little bit. And there you go. That is how you create a panorama in Lightroom.
Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments of this video. Please subscribe and tell your friends. And remember, create, share, repeat, and keep it awesome. I'll see you next time.